Welcome back, Team Place for Days fam, uh, on the YouTube, uh, One Piece, Pirates and all, okay? Uh, just got off work, uh, not like 30 minutes ago, uh, and we got, we got a lot to do, okay? So, we got some catching up to do, I got some videos to make, uh, we gotta throw it up. Um, so we're gonna start doing some stuff in the, in the sim. Um, you know, we got, we got a week left uh going getting ready for set two opo2 to come out i know you see opo3 cards here uh the new update for the sim was 1.15 which gave us all of set three to look at so that's really cool but that's not what we're working on because we're we're not ready for set three yet so we got we got to work on set one first right um, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna mess around with some things. Um, so I am the member of team place for days named Opie. Um, the one that brought the blue purple Kaido deck. Uh, the, the dual color decks are going to probably be the tendency of which I am focusing on, uh, primarily because I have not been able to find mono color decks that I'm actually into. Uh, so this is, we're, we're going to build this together. Um, and you guys can give me your opinions on it whenever, whenever it's done. Uh, we, we just got to figure some stuff out, you know, um, and we can, we can do this together and it will be fun. So let's, let's try to see what we got. What do we got? What do we got? Um, let's see. So with Sanji, he reads, uh, once per turn, when you play a character, without an effect from your hand if you have three or less characters in play set up to two of your dawn as active that's actually not bad uh that gives you on turn one i believe that leaves you with two dawn open like on well turn two so if you go first you get the one dawn you go to three you play three you set two active so you're essentially getting a three drop 5k for one uh which gives you the ability to play like love love and possibly overheat uh two different two desert spadas i mean you need defense honestly in this deck you're starting with four life you need help so let's let's get us this help um first let's find let's look at all the good all, all the three drop 5ks i'm just gonna click them as fours uh just so we can kind of get the idea of hey these are our options these are things we can look at um and then and then we can we can wean them out first with with that idea in in um in mind so let's who do we have and they have to have without an effect so i'm assuming obviously like trigger counts as an effect blocker has to count as a like it has to right Um, mocha or mocha. Oh god, got to Oh god, all these OPL three cards. They look so good. I know y'all saw Nami. Nami. Nami looking real good. Um, only for only for the the fact that I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. So I come from straight up just playing uh just playing Light Sworn, and I love it. Uh, honestly, Jimbei doesn't seem terrible in this deck either. A two drop 4k? I mean, that's not bad. Let's, let's wait on it. Um, I believe that is all the 3k, or the three drop 5k's that are blank, um, out of OPO 1 and 2, and the starters yeah that's that's looking about it um making sure we don't overlook anybody and then uh after after i give like this this let's build sanji this is going to be the series of the let's build series so that's what we'll call it um i know cj has the sim i know mark has the sim so we we can do it together uh you you guys can sit down with us and see who has uh who, who thinks of what and we can build it together 
uh, with the thought processes of whatever I, whatever I'm like, I'm going through or my thoughts of like, if you, if you think it's wrong, if you think it's bad, you know, let me know, like, let me know if something that I am saying makes no sense. Uh, because I'm, I'm still trying to learn one piece. Really? I am. Um, I've only done good a couple of times and I'm only, I'm a one trick with, with two color cards. That is it. Uh, I, I do not believe I will ever be good with a monocolor deck. Uh, and you know, if, if so, that's perfectly fine. We'll figure it out. So anyway, this is what we're sitting at. Um, they're all 1k counters. They're all three drop 5k's. So they hit almost every leader. The big problem of what they're going to swing into is none of these are going to hit Whitebeard. Uh, these can attack the board of Whitebeard. However, that's the problem. Like, they're just... I feel like this deck is going to be slow, and we have to play around it. So, um... I... I I don't know if I want to max on all of these, but I feel like you also need to just to make sure you get multiple 5k bodies on board early. Because by the time you get to 5, you go play 1, stand 2. Uh, you're at 4 now, so you play another 1, you stand 2. So now you should have 3 dawn up. So that at least gives you Sanji swinging as a 6k on the turn you drop two, and you have two open for possible, like, Love Loves, Overheats, uh, Desert Spada, stuff like that. You know, we're, we're looking, we're looking. Um, so do we like, uh, the fact that they're all counters, that helps. Um, we can look at some other stuff too. So, okay, let's... I think we're going to save this because this is good to just keep putting 5k pressure. Um, on top of that, and that's 21 cards already, well, 20 cards already taken up of our 50. Uh, so that's, oh. um, let's go. We need some 2k counters in here because that's, that's a little crazy. We also need some blockers, man. Like I feel like I feel like we need blockers. Um, I'm not gonna look at big big tickets yet. Um, I like these, dude. I like looking at these two drop four Ks a lot. Also, I do not remember seeing this guy from OPO one. Uh, that's a little sus. Um, is where? Oh, that's OPO three. OPO three, okay. OPO three. All right, cool. Um, let's find let's find some two Ks, right? Ooh, Jimbe two four K, another one. So there's a blue one and a and a green one. That's pretty sick. Um, hmm, Moo Moo. I don't think Veggie's a bad call. Um, turn turn one or yeah, on your turn two, whenever you turn over, you you drop this stand two, you drop a Veggie. Let's go Veggie and Law. Yeah, let's do Veggie and Law. I like that. I feel like that's that's pretty solid for. Hey, let's find blockers. And then, you know what? Let's throw two of that guy in there. Yeah. So those are our, our non-counters. Um, Let's go to our four drops. Um, oh, no, we still need two Ks, right? So let's, let's throw in some two Ks just to make sure we have them. We're going to go Beppo... Izo's really good. Is Bippo good, like, on play? No. Do we kind of want people to be good on play? How do we... How do we really want that to work? Um... Uh, can 
I gave you last time. So, yeah. So, if we want utilizable, like, 2Ks, will we really need them? And I don't think that's a yes. So, I think as long as they're just a 2K, then we will be okay. So, let's, you know, let's, let's diversify here. So, we're going to go boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's cool. Um, we might need to knock down, uh, we'll, go, we'll get rid of two Beppo. Uh, we'll do one and one here. Yeah, that way we're two, three, three. Okay. Uh, let's skip fours and just go straight to fives, right? Yeah. So that we have, we have abilities. So five drops, seven Ks. I feel like they're super, they're super strong, right? Like everybody agrees, everybody knows. Um, and we want to drop five drop seven Ks with no abilities. And I know there's one right here that I'm looking over. There he is. So we got Frankie. Uh, we know the staple of. Virgo. And then there's there's also Crocodile, but we can I mean we can just leave it at four Virgo, four Frankie, right? Yeah, I feel like that's fine. Uh and then we can go we can start looking at like taking some of these away. Uh and then work our way into like possible events like what what do we want um so, so somebody is active ko up to one of your opponents rested uh, i feel like that's a good one right punk gibson pop gibson is good oh uh, So PO3, OPO3. Isn't one of your opponent's characters with uh, that's a their mains we don't want those. So we can we can play this, but I, I do not like three counters. Rest up to one of your opponent's leader or characters for uh so we have three cards. Or three slots left, right? So let's let's put it on the table of what we what we have. So let's go Spada, Overheat, Love Love Right. Uh and then we're looking at green. Uh Punk Gibson. <laughs> so if we're doing if we're just maximizing on the amount of people we can play to keep these up, then that means we can take each one to one, right? So now we're playing like Yu-Gi-Oh ratios. We're just leaving our four Ks here, right? So now we can go double punk. Overheat seems super solid just because it's good. Uh, we'll go three on that. Three love love. Actually, we'll probably go. We'll go four on the desert spada, and then two on the overheat. I feel like this seems solid. <clears throat> so yeah, okay, this is fine. I I like this. I like ratios. Um, we get law so that if we need to, uh, you return a character, uh. To your hand, uh, play up to one character card with a cost of three or less from your hand. We have a lot of those. Um, so, like, say we play an ISO, right? And um, 
we use it to rest somebody, but we have we have the rest of it to where we can play the law. We we pick up the law and uh, and then we we play or we we play the law, pick up one of our our little or pick up our ISO and then play one of our other people. That's pretty cool. Uh, we could also just play law, pick up our people, play this to like rest something that's a, like a blocker or something to get through. Um, so yeah, I thoughts, uh, thoughts from you, from you all are obviously, um, let's hear them. I don't have big tickets. I don't have ways to like want to try to get around things, but we can work on that. And we can definitely make it a thing. If we if we have to cut some things, you know, we can cut some things. But we're I feel like we're gonna get around and cheese some some games, right? Alright. Well, uh I'll I'll come back and I'll upload about two or three games uh while playing this deck the, the way it is. And then uh we can do a on on the let's build Ep, or let's build Sanji episode two or whatever. Uh, that'll come after after a couple of test games, so we can see what we got. Uh, all right, cool. Let's let's save this. And uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like the content, let us know. Uh, comments are always open. Uh, if you if you like what you think you're going to see, because this is kind of what I'm gonna start doing. Uh, cause if, if I can't get out and do a whole lot more and the local scene, um, uh, until like, you know, set two comes out and then we start doing pack openings. Oh yeah. We need to pack open. We got, we got stuff. Um, I kind of honestly just want to enter pre-releases, not play in the pre-release and just open the packs for you guys. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're actually going to play in the pre-release. We're going to see, we're going to see how we go. And, uh, yeah, um, also comment down below. Who, who do you think, what leader do you think I should take to the pre-release? I'm doing two pre-releases, uh, over the weekend of March. So March 4th and 5th, I'm doing two pre-releases. Um, what two leaders do you think I should go in with? And whoever has the most votes, I will play. Hands down, we'll play. Uh, I, w I will not care if I don't like them. If they're monocolor, sure, whatever. I'll play them. It's a pre-release. Have fun. Uh, if you're going to a pre-release to be too serious, don't go. Like, get your stuff and leave. Uh, pre-releases are fun. I get it. People want promo stuff, like promo smoker. Um, I, I, look, I just want to have fun. Uh, I, I play, I play games for fun. Uh, if I have to be serious, I have to be serious, but that's only in, like, big ticket uh events it's a pre-release um so yeah uh, i'll see you guys back uh on the let's play sanji uh and uh we'll we'll see let's build sanji together episode two peace out love y'all